Denmark, yeah. Finally reached Shenkon. So I'm here on a three day, two night adventure for Jetstar's cheapest race. Very lucky thing is I've got one friend here in Yangon who's actually picked me up. <laughs> That's Chan. And guess who's joining me also? <laughs> and we're surviving on like $68 per day. And we have to plan this epic itinerary to fight against two other vloggers who are out there. So KG and Seven Shark. Our journey begins here. This is by far the most value town pack of desserts that we've bought. Like this whole packet of things with like a variety of four or five different like desserts. It costs one Singapore dollar. Along this Chinatown street, there's a lot of eateries and it's not the kind of like wonky stuff where you're like, you start to question whether you can eat it or not. They actually look legit and there's a lot of people eating. Every single day, we are given a challenge. Day one, treat yourself. Go and explore the city's nightlife. So that's our mission. But we are clueless. We don't know where to go. And it just so happens that on today that we're in Yangon, there is an epic party going on. Time for a day trip. Pagoda that you enter is a standard fee, so each place is like 10 sing dollars, 10,000 kyaps, 10,000 kitty kyaps. So this is the part where it starts hurting, it starts eating into the budget a little bit. I did nothing. One hot cab ride later, we are here at Crocodile Farm now. So I go in, make one. Soup. But you teach me how to make one dish. One dish. Yeah, yeah. You like? I'm trying to. I'm trying to Google Translate. Yes, 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 yes. Just one. Just one. Okay. One yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. No. Oh. That was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Not only just here, but in like life. That was so cool. Just you really feel like you're just part of everything that's going on. Whew. 
Yeah, let's go. Quick massage. Then off to the airport. And that concludes our three day, two night adventure in Yangon. I actually don't have too much left, but I think I definitely did the most out of the budget of $68 per day given to us. Here's a quick breakdown. Now the first day we didn't spend too much. A lot of my favorite places kind of just involve the sights and just immersing yourself in the vibe of the city. Like for example, the jetty, free. Main part though came under the night rave, which was about $30 each. So for the first day, plus the cab, plus the food and everything, it kind of tabulated to about $55. Second day, this was where it got a little bit expensive because we had to pay $35 each to get ourselves a cab driver who would just follow us for the whole day. Pagoda visit was $10 as well, so that equals to another $20 spent. And plus the food as well, that equates to about $65 on the second day. So on the last day, we actually had quite a bit of money left. That was because it only cost 20 cents to get on that epic train ride where you just find yourself almost in like an indie movie. So we went to do some local shopping, we went to cafes, and we tried cabbing to as many places as possible to get more epic itinerary. But turns out, the tourist places on the map we had, a lot of the places were closed or were just not there. I would definitely say you need to do some research before you go to whatever country you're going to. Guess that ends up with us having about well, five dollars left. I want to thank Jetstar for having me on this adventure. I am down for any other challenge you guys throw at me. With that, okay, take it easy, crew. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Crew, I don't feel so good. Oh.